class ratios, ladies and gentlemen. This is, is going to be different than percent composition in a couple of ways. First of all, mass ratio is just going to be uh, the ratio of one element to another element. And you can represent it in a couple of ways. You could represent it with the colon, like I saw some of you doing yesterday. Like A to B. Or you can do it like a fraction, A over B. I oftentimes prefer to use uh, this version. Um, just because uh, I can deal with fractions a little bit more easily than I could deal with this. You do it oftentimes to help determine the formula of a compound. Uh, and I'll give you an example. If we have two compounds, compound one and compound two, and those compounds, we know how much mass we have of each of them. We analyzed it, we figured out that in compound one, we have a mass of chlorine which is 77.4 grams. And we have a mass of phosphorus, which is 22.5 grams. But in compound two, our chlorine is 71 grams. And our phosphorus is 35 grams. So what we would do is look at the ratio. And typically, if at all possible, I do ratio of most over, or sorry, mass of most over mass of least because I find that it's the easiest to deal with. So, if we're looking at compound one, we have 77.4 grams to 22.5 grams, and this is Cl over P, and two will be 71 grams, Cl, over uh, 35 grams P. And so we do that. We have 77.4 grams divided by 22.5. 77.4 divided by 22.5. And we get 3.4 four, and this one is 71 divided by 35, and we get 2.02. Okay, that's all fine and dandy, um, and we figured out the mass ratios. Um, so with just this in mind, I can first ask, uh, which has the higher amount of Cl relative to uh, phosphorus? And what would you guys tell me? Why? See a higher ratio here. So compound one 
is higher because of higher ratios. Now, it gets a little trickier, and this is the type of question that, that is often asked, is what is the formula for compound two, if compound one is PCL3. So, I want you to take just a little bit of time, discuss with your groups, uh, maybe 30 seconds, what do you think it might be? So go ahead, Take 30 seconds to do that. Yes, we've got compound one is PCL3. I want to guess what PCL or uh, what compound two might be. Why are you guessing that? First and foremost, it's got to be lower, right? Yeah. So we've got a couple of options, right? We could have either um, more phosphorus, or we could have what? It's also more phosphorus in the compound two. So Relative to um, CL, right? So, uh, yeah. So we know. This is absolutely right. Ratio is lower, so less CL for every um, P. Um, so either it can be one less atom, or it could be more phosphorus. So we have less. CL or more phosphorus since we have less CL uh, we have three we have two that's good also if we look at the ratios what is 3.44 pretty close to or yeah. what whole number Typically working with whole numbers, unless you are at exactly the 0.5, we're going to work with whole numbers. So, is it closer to 4 or closer to 3? Mm -hmm. Okay. 3.44, close to 3. Uh, and then 2.02 .02 is really relatively close to what? Relatively close to 2. So if we know, we have 3... CLs for one phosphorus in compound one. In compound two, we can keep the same amount of phosphorus. Uh, no, it's about three halves as much or two thirds as much in compound two. We could even do that. Two thirds if we look at them relative to each other. Gonna get two Cl for one phosphorus, which again gives us P Cl two. Couple of ways about solving problems like this. Okay. That is mass ratios. Give you guys a little bit of time to write. 
and I want to ask you all, if there are any questions about math right The next thing we're going to write down is percent composition. Because that's used for different things. Percent composition is used for identifying Compounds. Slightly different, meaning that um, compounds have like a chemical signature. And if you know the percent composition, you've got a good idea of what that, that chemical is going to be. Um, so percent composition, rather than being element over element, is going to be the part over the total. So, um, and this is in percent composition by mass, the mass of one element over the mass of total compound. Okay, so I'll give you guys an example with this guy too. Uh, ethanol. Then we know what ethanol is. What's that ethanol used in? They make dry. Get some drivers in here yet? Some wannabe drivers? Hopefully you're drivers? Okay, forget this is in South Dakota. Good old South Dakota, you can drive at 14, it's wonderful. Um, Ethanol is an additive in gasoline. It's also an additive in adult drinks. Um, ethanol is drinking alcohol. Now, um, ethanol, it, you could analyze a sample and you could say it was determined that there was 156.6 grams of carbon, 39 grams of hydrogen, and 104.4 grams of oxygen. So some of you are getting pretty good at this. But if I wanted to know ethanol, ethanol what the percent composition was, you have to identify each element, uh, and you're going to take the part over the total. So you need to find the total first to not get it. What would I do in order to figure out the total mass? Add them all together, right? So we get 156.6 plus 39 plus 104.4. That's what I wanted it to total up to. 300 grams is the total. So if I want to figure out the uh, percent composition for carbon, that's going to be 156.6 grams over 300 grams, which gives us a percentage. And technically, I do need to multiply by 100. But what I get is 0.5 or 0.522 times 100 which gives me 52.2 percent carbon. Uh, I'm going to make hydrogen and oxygen on the same level um, and be a little bit more succinct. 39 over 300 is 13 percent and oxygen is 104.4 divided by 300 is 30. Uh, I'll write it out actually. But I'll use a little bit of shorthand on that. 
is 34.8%. Which of those add up to? 100. 34.8 plus 13 plus 52.2. 100. That makes me happy when that works out like that. Now, we had, say we had two samples. I'm going to let you guys do this, these example problems. And I'm going to say one of them has sample one has 104.4 grams of carbon, has 26 grams of hydrogen, and has 69.6 .6 grams of oxygen. And sample two has 37.5 grams of, of carbon, has 12.6 grams of hydrogen, and has 49.4 grams of oxygen. And I want you guys to tell me one of these samples I know is ethanol, and one of these samples is a different compound called methanol. Methanol, let me know what drinking methanol leads to. Death. Death. Eventually. But before that, it leads to blindness. So, um, there is one of these people consume regularly. It's not good for you. But uh, they consume regularly. The other uh, is something that can lead to poisoning and blindness. And I want you guys to tell me uh, which one is ethanol and which one is methanol? So take a little bit of time. Methanol. And figure out how, which one is which. You're going to need a calculator of some sort, and I'll give you guys just a little bit of time to work on this.
Russian rabbit seed on their birthday. Period. He's got it! Absolutely. All right. And that is, <laughs> you're absolutely right. So if we wanted to figure this out, we wanted to identify these compounds. Very different properties. Uh, what, what would we do? What would we need to find out first? Eric? Totals, right? What do we get for a total sample of uh, sample one? 200 grams. What do we get for our totals in sample two? 99.5. All right. So what percentages? So we'd go 104.4. I'm not going to write that out for all of them. 104.4 divided by 200 gives us what? What did you get? 52.2. Okay. 2%. What do we get for hydrogen percentage wise? 13. Mole. And how about oxygen? 34. Sounds awfully familiar. Sample two, what do we get? For our carbon? 37.7. For hydrogen, what do we get? And for oxygen, what do we get? I rounded up. It's all right. Be careful with that because if you round, you know what I mean. If you if you just did hydrogen, right, and you checked hydrogen and you went, okay, I got 26 over 200, I got 12.6 uh, over 100, 13 percent. Oh, they're the same compound. Can you do that? No. So try to keep as much as you possibly can. Well, which one is which? Who can tell me which one's ethanol? Troy. The first one. Tro first one. Gabby. Can the second one be ethanol? No. No, why? Yeah, it's got different percent compositions, right? So it has to be this. And this is this is sometimes things that forensics uh, might use this in order to, to figure out. Uh, some unknown substance, what it might be. They look at their percent composition, they figure out, um, okay, well, it can't be that, it can't be that. Um, and then they, they're going to do other tests to figure it out, but this is where they start. Do you have any questions on percent composition at this point? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to get, a little, get us a little bit of practice, and since we've uh, got time, uh, let's kahoot a little bit. Let's go. Are prizes available for the winners? Yes. Oh, man. You weren't going to play before? I'm so happy that you uh, decided to, to go along with it. While this is going, I'm going to stop this.